It's a showcase of mountain heritage and pride when you stop to visit the Allegheny Historical Museum in Sparta. Heather Burgess heads to the mountains to uncover for us the hidden treasures and history of these hills. I think people are really interested. A lot of people from the parkway come in. Just a short ride off the Blue Ridge Parkway on the main street of Sparta, in the reflection of the old county courthouse, you'll find a window into the past people, places, and events that weave together the rich fabric of Allegheny County. When, when they come here, they're going to they're gonna see history. They're going to see really the way they lived. The Allegheny County Historical Museum holds everyday treasures of days gone by. Most of the items in here, not all of them, but most of them came from this county, and it's uh, down to earth and, and the way people really lived. We've had topics on women and we've done one on churches. We just try every three months to have a different topic and then we just go into the history of whatever we, their theme is. Each item tells the story of people who for centuries have proudly lived in the beauty of the North Carolina mountains. A lot of the things that we have are tools or farm tools or housewives or farm wives tools that they use to live their lives. Sometimes people think about up in the mountains they're hillbillies. We're not hillbillies. And we just want people to know about our heritage. And it is clearly a heritage rich in stories and historical significance. This picture of, Cong of President Truman was the gift to Congressman Bob Dalton. Right after the war ended, I was telephone operator here, and I called President Truman once for Bob Dowd, and I thought that was kind of exciting. That's very exciting. <laughs> You'll find Native American artifacts, but also look for cherished relics dating back to George Washington's time and the Civil War. This tin, brought in by a local family, contains, among other things, a document showing a Confederate soldier's switch to allegiance to the Union after the Civil War. Whenever he came back from the Civil War, it's where he signed his repatriation to the United States. Treasures like this are what make this museum truly a community affair. Families bring in items from their attics to offer visitors history up close and personal. I've had comments of saying that this is my great grandpa, and how lucky you are to have this. This press from Burton Osborne, uh, he had it out in, in Piney Creek. It's uh, from the original Allegheny Star newspaper. It was their job press. They didn't print the newspaper on it, but they printed pads and, and all the printing for the, for the area. And uh, Mr. Osborne's father went down on an ox cart. They ordered it from Sears and Roebuck, and it came to Elkin on a train, and they went down the mountain on an ox cart and brought it up and it is still in good working order. If we had the ink rollers, we could run a job today. Here is an, a baptism in the creek. <laughs> and like a time machine, these photos give us an eyewitness to events, like the Sparta Fire of 1933, which destroyed an entire block of the main street. Well, people just bring them in and I just know all the old people, the older ones of us know all the old people, and we know where to go to get the information. All the stories and items seem to spark the younger generation's imagination. They're plum full of questions, and that's what I enjoy. Anytime you can take and answer a question that a, a child has, that means that much more to their lives. This museum celebration of the past brings a swell of pride and participation from every corner of Allegheny County. It's all about our heritage and about our history, so everybody should feel like the, the, that they can come and, and participate. The Allegheny Historical Museum is currently exhibiting through the month of June, Faith of Our Fathers, a look at the churches and faith customs of Allegheny County. For more information, log on to our website for links to the museum.